Hello and welcome to my channel, Zuri's Adventures. I am Zuri. Uh, we are back here at Clear Creek. Um, I never got a chance to, I cleaned out like two of the holes that I started before. And that was, I'll say at least over a month ago now. And I am back to clean out the other hole. As you can see, it has filled in with sand a little bit from the high waters from when I was kind of digging out at it before. So the water was about this height, right about here, filling this little pocket up here. And as you can see, the water has recited. And it's nice and clear. So nice. A little windy out. Oh, look at that tree just sitting on the cliff. Okay. So, I got my Mini Max set up here. Nice and level. And, oh, so, I'm going to start shoveling. Let's see what I find. show you guys something I was trying to dig these two rocks out over here let me take this off of this and see this kind of different color underneath and it it feels like really clay, but there's definitely a lot of sand in it. So I'm gonna keep, there's a rock right here that's big. There's another one right here. So I'm hoping as soon as I get this one out, I can get that one out. Um, I do have my pry bar, but I left it up in the car. I've already made like a million trips because I forgot everything up there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, dig this out and run it through the Minimax and hopefully we find some gold. I uh, um, guess from the sand on top of just a couple rocks right here, there's just a couple little pieces of gold in the indicator mat. Uh, I don't know if it's even worth showing you right now because they're so small it's hard to see them. Uh, where did they go? This is flower. I don't know. I can't tell with the light right now. Maybe I'm picking it up, maybe not. We shall see. Okay. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe this is all just crap video. Okay. I'm gonna keep going. So I got down with my trowel and tried to clean it out as much as I could. There's some big boulders in there I definitely can't get out. Um, so I got it in my bucket over here. And I'm gonna run that through real quick. And then I think I actually might try another spot. So I 
all the cons into a gold pan and panned it out just a little bit and then kind of washed it all the way slowly and I follow, uh, saw a couple little like wire pieces of gold in there. Nothing too big, nothing to get too excited, but otherwise this is kind of what I found at the bottom. You can see all those little flakes going through there. This is hard with the sun. Across. And like I said, there's a lot of black sand here. I am not going to pan it out at the river. The tide is just going in and out, making it hard to pan. So I will probably put this through my underflow fish box sometime later. I'll make a video about that. And I'm going to start another hole right here. I do believe it's been cleaned out before, but I do believe it has not been cleaned out this year yet. So, I'm going to do as much dirt as I can out of it. Because this last spot, truthfully, there's maybe three buckets of dirt. This is probably three buckets of dirt in here. Alright, it's hard to say. It took me a while to get it out. So. Let me keep digging. I gotta set up my sluice box in a new area. Probably maybe in the water right here. That way I can just shovel from oops, right there into the sluice box and into the river it goes. There's that little flower still. I don't know if you saw it from my last video. Kind of cool, it's a really pretty color. The camera does not pick it up, but okay. So, this is the second hole that I was taking today. Got a little pile of rocks there, a little tailings pile, and um, I'm gonna keep digging this out. I believe someone dug it out probably last year. All the dirt in it is definitely like fresh. It's pretty loose, which is nice because I can run a lot of it really quick. I don't have to break it up as much. And one good sign that I saw is I found that big piece of metal in there. It's all rusted out. So hopefully there's some more heavies in there. If you know what I mean. Okay, it is the end of the day for me. I cleaned this hole out a little bit. I just kind of did it until I got tired. I already got some of my stuff already packed up. Ready to go. And I'm going to bring my concentrates from my two runs home with all the glass and trash that I found. I will see you back at my house in a flash. See you soon. Out. Here we are back at home. I got all the trash and a ton of glass and all the concentrates down in there so i am going to strain it down to this size whatever that is it's definitely smaller and i will pan through that really quick and then i am going to run the rest of it through my underflow sluice box so yeah, we'll see how that goes.
glass. I'll go through that in just a minute. is where we are left with to run through the underflow stitch box. I guess we really didn't cut it down too much. I think I need to get a smaller strainer because I feel like the gold isn't very big so I can get rid of a lot of this material. But uh, the next time you see, yeah, this will just be gold. And I'm actually gonna run it through my underflow sluice box, but that is going to be a different video. And that will be in a later date. So once I post that, I will put a little link up in the corner to see that video and to see how the underflow sluice box works and how it kind of can help you clean up your gold and any other uh, heavy metals that you have in there so yeah let me get to it money today. Look at that. I need to clean that up, but that's 25 cents right there. I looked at the date earlier. I believe it was like 2002. I think it's... I can't see what it is. It's crazy. It kind of got like that. So this is everything that I pulled out of the underflow sluice box. 
it's actually not bad for Colorado. I think that was a good little spot I found. So, thanks for joining me. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day.